Hey there YouTube and today I will show you commands for powder toy so let's start first I'm going to put lava and uh, every command starts with set just like this so after this I'm going to say type and let's say lava to metal so when I close this you can see it's metal so let's get some sparks and uh, hmm oh yeah it's molten so there you go but if I take for example water no no let's say oil and do the same do the same thing but instead of lava I say oil to metal you will see that it's metal I mean the temperature stays the same so this is molten and uh, yeah that's metal also you can say like if you have bunch of different things like this so we got battery tesla coil and uh, all of this so let's say set type all to metal so as you can see everything is turned to metal so that's one command then you've got C type so let's get some diamond like this and uh, some lava so now we're going to get set C type this will change the state of the element so let's say lava to I don't know diamond and uh, as you can see we've got molten diamond and uh, when this cools down it will turn to diamond then we've got let's see lava and do the same thing but let's say I don't know water and we've got molten water when we cool this down it will turn to water but it will vaporize because diamond is really hot so yeah you can experiment with that then we've got let's say let's go with ice we've got temperature command so you start with set T E M P ice to let's say let's go with 50 it should whoa whoa whoa, whoa. so let's say 9999 and there we go so you can see the temperature up there it's 9000 same thing goes for everything else let's say metal and just replace this ice with metal and uh, as you can see it's really really hot now let's do lava and uh, let's set temperature to lava let's say minus 9999 and uh, it's stone so then we've got TMP uh, basically what TMP does uh, it changes the properties of the thing you're working with so let's say we've got some vibranium here let's set TMP to vibranium let's go with more nines so it's will it will start blinking so yeah it's activated as you can see and it will explode shortly after so yeah let's watch it and uh, boom there we go 
So you can use this for filters. Uh, there you are. there they are. So yeah, you can use them for filters, and uh, yeah, you can check some more info on Wiki. It's really useful. And uh, the last thing I want to show you is VX and VY. VY. So let's set VX of neutrons let's say one and uh, they always go to one side let's say electrons set VX of electrons let's say minus one and uh, they will go to the left as you can see uh, with set VY of electrons, uh, electrons to one, they will go down, and uh, if the value is minus one, they should go up, all of them. So that's it. You can use this for sponge as well, and uh, there's some creation of sponges that are actually cool. So I like this one. Uh, basically, this is with sponge, this is with electrons, this with grav. So yeah, you can test it out multiple things and get pretty cool ex results. So yeah, thanks for watching. Post a comment, tell me what you think. And uh, see you in the next video. Bye.